This is Richard Lynch, you're watching ilovelimerick.com and I am here with the amazing Orla Foley to talk all about her charity single fundraiser in honour of her brother Anthony. First of all, anyway, Orla, tell me all about your incredible, legendary brother, Anthony Foley. Ah, uh, my big brother. Um, he was just that. He was big. He, he was uh, amazingly quiet as a man, but when he spoke, he had a lot of words to say. And when he wanted to be quiet, he didn't spare the words, you know. Um, it's all my life I looked up to my big brother. I followed him around. One of my earliest memories is running around our house at Maru on the back of a little tractor and when he was on another tractor and, you know, playing um oh the boomerang out the back, you know, just really fond memories and we used to go off and we'd be playing cowboys and Indians and you know I just anywhere my brother wanted to be, I wanted to be. And it was great to follow him on the monster journey you know his whole rugby journey through school shannon all the way up to monster and it's been such a gift because we're so lucky we have amazing coverage of him we like i can just turn on youtube and actually listen to my brother's voice hearing other stories that some of his friends had and everything i'm very privileged to have had my big brother and to have all such beautiful memories and it's so recorded, which a lot of people don't have. And he was like a rugby legend. Literally when he passed, the whole of Limerick mourned. I mean, that must have been so powerful to see how incredibly loved Anthony was. The saddest thing about it was he probably never knew how loved he was. You know, I, I think that's the sad thing about death for all of us. None of us will know how truly loved we are till we pass. Uh, for me, as his sister, I took great solace uh, knowing how much he meant to people because he meant a lot to me. And I realised very quickly he meant as much to other people nearly as he did to me. And, you know, what a lovely mark to leave in your short life, to be that loved. And, and he was... the most amazing thing for me of the week was hearing lovely stories about how kind he was to people. You know, I knew he was kind. He was a great father. He was a gentle a great, giant. A gentle giant. He was a great father, a great husband. But that extra mile he went for some of his players, I hadn't been aware of. And I was very proud of him for that. I was just like, that's amazing. And it was so sudden. It was such a shock for all of you. It was crazy. Oh, uh, I famously went down wailing like a banshee. Uh, um... Barry Murphy himself said that he made noises. It sounded similar. It was crazy. You could never be prepared for it, but I feel everything I've ever studied and learnt in life prepared me for it because I'm very into holistic health and well-being and spirituality. So that really helped me in my hour need and I was able to get homeopathic remedies and have a Bowen technique treatment and that really helped me be present and feel the pain you can't get escape the pain but if you can feel it and be present in it and just process it you know that helps and um yeah it was an awful shock uh, it was a shock for everyone like i remember coming in to get my hair done and people were walking around limerick streets they were just like in a daze i've never seen anything like it like you live in limerick you, you would have seen it on the streets but I, that blew me away and i snuck to thoman park incognito um, when people were signing the books of condolences and to see the gates and I just yeah it was lovely I think people just went that extra mile and honoured him and honoured themselves because we live in a great community like Limerick is beautiful you know when you're part of Limerick and you're loved we all you know look out for each other and mind each other and it really brought out the best of what we are and I agree with you and I think that Anthony has left such a legacy and I know that his beautiful, beautiful wife has been helping the Children's Grief Centre and she's been fundraising and now you're fundraising in honour of Anthony's memory. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, first we have to commend Olive. She does amazing work and uh, she's so... She, I always say she was Anthony's greatest achievement. Oh. Do you know, he was... And the beautiful children. Yeah, yeah. He was... And he knew it. He was a lucky man. Mm. And um, they were a wonderful couple. And what she does with Sister Helen is just above and beyond. And unfortunately, some of my friends need it because it's not just for 
kids that have lost a parent. It's also for kids that have, you know, parents are going through a divorce. People might not be aware of that. So, you know, that's a huge grief for kids and it's a great service to have on our doorstep and they're doing wonderful work. Then my own fundraiser was just born, born out of the pandemic in memory of Anthony because I cycled the Wild Atlantic Way in memory of Anthony, 3,000 kilometres. And... What better way to remember my brother than to celebrate his life? And that's what I did. Like, I did a Camino after Anthony died in 2017, and that was very raw, very grief-filled, and I was sitting on the bike bawling. Whereas this journey was actually celebrating all the years we had Anthony, uh, because I was very mindful. He nearly died twice when we were younger, so I'd have had a very different life not having my big brother for all the years I had him. So I celebrate that and I'm very grateful. He was a wonderful big brother. He was a wonderful friend. He was a wonderful son. He was a wonderful husband and father. And yeah, I'm grateful to have had him for all the and years. the money you raised through your cycles, what did you do with the money? How much did you raise? Oh gosh, the last I checked, it's over 24,000. Um, yeah, yeah, between Barry's song and Orla's Wild Ways, there seems to be... Orla's Wild Ways is you on your cycles. Yeah, and then Barry donated the song to Orla's Wild Ways fundraiser, which is for Cry, who help um, screen for people that die of sudden cardiac incidents. And they provide bereavement services now, and they're really about helping other people not know the pain we know and if they do know the pain that we know they help them and support them and yeah amazing service and they're wonderful and then um carrie mm. who do absolutely phenomenal work i work them. with them a lot yeah, yeah they're amazing and they're really at this year about breaking the silence and really helping those kids and um the way I see it, you know, 24,000 was the last count. If we get another 6,000, that means that one charity will be able to take one child off their waiting list because it takes 10,000 to get a sexually abused child the services it needs and the support. That's Carrie. Family. They offer support to yeah. kids that have been sexually abused. Yes. They're amazing. Yeah. Oh, we have to get Anthony's oh. one. We have to remember Anthony's one, which is the Midwest Cancer Foundation. Oh. He was on the board. So and there's three charities that yeah. you're raising money for. And then Barry Murphy from Hermitage Green, who was also a famous rugby player, has donated this song and the proceeds of the song will go towards the three charities. Tell me about the song. Oh, Richard, it is just disgustingly beautiful is one of the best quotes I've heard about it. Or another man told me that's love yeah. because it is. And it, I think to my mind, it's the bravest thing Barry Murphy has ever done. Oh. It's very raw, it's very vulnerable. I felt like I'd read his diary after I listened to it. You know, it's, you'd want to be a stone not to be moved by it. I just think he's, it's an incredible tribute to how much my brother meant to him, how much he loved my brother, and how much he meant to him that it was, he was brave enough to share it with us. And know. where can people buy the song and hear oh, the song? Oh, they can download it at idonate.ie at uh, forward slash alone you stand and you can just go there and download so this is Orla Foley she is raising money in honour of her beautiful brother Anthony for three amazing charities and if you go out now and buy a um, Barry Murphy song all the money will be go straight to these children's charities it's an amazing cause we all want to get behind Orla Barry and more importantly we want to support the legend that is Anthony Foley so get out there and buy the single Let's help these charities. This is Richard Lynch. You're watching ilovelimmer.com. This is the amazing Orla Foley. We'll see you soon.